Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the math sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! The ring general has declared the mat sacred and sees this industry as pure sport, meaning there is no room for games and antics. Now, Gunther takes everything so seriously, like he's always scowling. Hey, listen, he takes pride in what he does. It's difficult not to admire the expertise possessed by Gunther. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. That man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe, but now he looks to conquer the world. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar. General, a moniker he earned for the impressive combat tactics he employs in his matches. Tactics which can be as devastating as they are genius. You could easily mistake Gunther for a big Austrian brute, but he's a very cerebral competitor. Before he even climbs through the ropes, he's ready to devise multiple avenues of attack. That has helped Gunther stay one step ahead of the competition. He's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. And he's facing off against Tyler Bate, who has put his own unique twist on British Strong Style. He's a little young and still a little inexperienced, but he may well be pound for pound one of the strongest superstars in WWE today. Well, they don't call him the big strong boy for nothing, Saxton. And as for his experience, this man was the inaugural United Kingdom champion, a founding father of NXT UK, and he did it all before the age of 21. I shudder to think what you were doing at that age, Saxton. For a master tactician like Gunther, the path to victory couldn't be more obvious. He just has to choose his best strategy and put it into action. If he can do that, I'm sure this match will be going his way. Gunther's strategies have paid off for him in the past. Will it be the same case here in this one? That holds back Bates' attack. Big forearm. He's got him down. Is this it? Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Staying. On oh, a drop kick. And will this start a momentum shift? Perhaps it will. Collision. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Submission locked in. The Billy Goat's curse is broken. Yeah. Arm ringer Ooh. applied. Arm ringer finger snap. Now he's been put on the defensive. Gonna carry it around. Bad spot to be. Oh. Oh. Jeez. There's a lot of 
hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. section. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Gunther cuts him off. And he's able to counter. Gunther wants to finish this. Delivering the powerbomb. This spells trouble for Bates. Picture perfect drop kick. No, sir. Coquina clutches in. Time to go night night. Can you imagine what it would do to his confidence? Oh, no way he escapes the clutch. No way. He is. He did it. And he powers out. You have to think this battle is starting to win. Yeah. Bate with a kick to the gut, double under. Tyler Driver, 97. Did Bate end it there? What in the world? What an amazing level of fight. Still left in Gupta. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Uh oh. The dive! It's like a heat seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring inside. <laughs> Critical time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. Kick to the midsection, drops the attack. Thrown back in under the ropes. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. The ring general. It's just unbelievable and good. 
Secures the win. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Gunter! This kind of win establishes him to the world. An important win for him in this one. They really put in some back-breaking work for this victory. Wins in WWE rarely come easy, Saxton, but this one was tougher than most. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium. From South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci! Giovanni Vinci, a man who brings even more style and class to Imperium. Yeah, and living proof that bald is beautiful. Well, that makes you living proof that there's exceptions to every rule, Saxton. We are about to see a picture-perfect performance courtesy of Giovanni Vinci. And he's certain to make Imperium proud. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bates is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bates has remarkable poise to go with the flow. It's really difficult to match this man's grappling skills. Or his mustache. He's got a beard. It actually has a beard, by him. Right, but the mustache part is amazing. Guys, is it illegal to pull facial hair during a match? Mask it for a friend. No doubt about it, we are in for something special tonight. history since his first day in WWE. The first ever United Kingdom champion. Bates not the biggest guy, and he's not the most experienced, but he is pure talent. Bringing an unknown... Uh-oh, saw that one coming. Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Yeah. That holds back Bates' attack. Nice gut wrench suplex. And Bates steers clear there. These two showing how well Scott. Uh -oh. And Vinci turning it around. Move 
move like that, it really just discombobulates a person. Changes the whole complexion of the match. And that was a heck of a heave we just saw. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating fart. He thinks he has it. And he breaks the count quickly. Not yet. Oh, man. He takes control. Snap suplex. Very effective. Absorbing that hit probably left Finchie's ego a little bruised. Yeah, Bates just having a good time grinding him down. Reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. Turning the tables there. Oh, he fights bait back. Right down on the skull. And going down at that angle did not look good. Can't see this going much further after that. From behind, back suplex. Oh, colliding with a barricade. He'll head to the ring. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Eight. When you're as good as Tyler Bate, you get to set the pace of the match. but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. All the way down. The standing shooting star. Oh, just ate that kick to the face. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Vinci. Spinning sit down power bomb. Vinci stamping an end to this. Try to end it. He kicked out of two. Man, oh man, what resilience. He's got to be running on instinct alone. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Yeah. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Yeah. And she with the oh, Olympic slam. What a blow delivered by Vinci. That's the kind of attack you can take real pride in. <laughs> Vinci. Spinning sit down. Powerbomb. This spells trouble for Bate. That's it, Giovanni. Vinci is your winner. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, 
Giovanni Vinci. What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. No doubt about it, support for this guy grows by the second in the estimation of the WWE Universe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Wait, wait, what's going on here? One half of the well, SmackDown. Can, and things breaking down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push the referee so far, Corey. And Kobe fights back. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. <laughs> Braun Strowman, truly a monster among men. How do you deal with an opponent who has destructive intentions like Braun? You've got to be agile. Braun can't destroy you if he can't catch you. So stay moving. Don't make yourself an easy target. Only attack when the opportunity's right. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. And he goes into the ring. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, for. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Right on cue. And another counter. Put it in position. 
finishing that. Tossed aside. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurt someone like that. That's disrespectful. Wow. And now Kofi is masked with blood. Wow. Well, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Oh, the monster among men with freakish strength. Way up there. Strowman press. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. The monster among men bringing it now. Kofi has to trust his instincts at this point. Shoulder tackle. And there's the cover. <laughs> Almost ended it there. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? <laughs> Connects. The fist to the face. Great counter. Strowman wasn't having that. Oh, he's got him up high. The fall away slam. And he gets set back into the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Bomb drop. Good move. Cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Into the R track. Quick reversal. Mm. Hooked up. And oh. DDT. Kofi Kingston! Ooh, How about a little? He deflects it right back. Bam! Scooped up, took a wall slam. Strowman with his sights set on ending this. Escapes with a knee to a gut. Counter! Takes 
Whoa, jumping clothesline. Oof. Uh oh, jawbreaker on the dentist. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. A big splash. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. A single leg camel clutch and a great oh. counter. I can see up to the rafters and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Oh, and he's back in beating the camel. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Taking flight. Splash! A continuous attack on Strowman. This is how you counter an evil SOB like Strowman. Only attack when you have a clear opening. Boom, trap. Braun has been cut down. He's pushed to the break. worth it now. That match deserves another look, folks. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston! And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. Wow! We just saw a monster slayer strike right before our very eyes.